You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, while the video is playing to visit my channel. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. To return to the video you were watching, click your browser's back button. How to resize Windows in Windows 10. This video shows how to resize windows, including how to use the snap features. I'll open a couple of windows and hide the desktop icons for the first part of this video. There are two easy ways to maximize a window. One is to double click the title bar. It enlarges to fill the desktop. To, re to reverse that and return it to its original size and position, double click the title bar again. Another way is to click this symbol which is second from the right in the upper right corner. It will show an empty square. Click that to maximize it or enlarge it to fill the screen. The symbol is changed to this symbol. Click it again to return to its original size and position. To change the size of a window, move the cursor over an edge till it changes to a double headed arrow. Press and hold the left button and drag. You can make the window smaller or larger that way. You can do the same thing on the sides or you can do the same thing on the corner. Then you can change both the width and the height. The snap features let you quickly maximize and restore windows. To maximize, drag the title of the window to the top of the desktop. When it changes color, release the left button. It enlarges to fill the screen. To return to its original size and position, double click the title bar. To enlarge it to fill exactly half the desktop, drag the title bar to the edge of the window, left or right edge. It automatically expands to fill half the screen. I'll discuss these in a moment. You can drag it to the other half to fill the other half of the screen. You can also drag it to a corner to fill one quarter of the desktop. Any, any of the corners. To enlarge the height but keep the width the same, hover over the bottom edge so it changes to the double headed arrow. Press and hold the left button, drag it down to the bottom of the window. Release. The window has expanded its height so that it goes from top to bottom of the desktop but the width has not changed. To return to its original position, double click the title bar. Here's how to enable, disable the snap feature and two snap options. Click the Windows logo, click Settings, click System, click Multitasking. I'll turn on the uh, desktop icons for the rest of the video. Right click, View, Show Desktop Icons. I have the Snap feature turned on. I'll demonstrate what happens when this feature is on, when I snap more than one window, automatically adjust the size of the windows. If I snap up a window, I'll just open a window and snap it to the right. We can turn this feature on and off, and that's the second feature on that window, and we'll go back to it in a second. If I resize the window, I just snap to one half of the desktop. And then I snap another window to the other side of the desktop. It resizes to fill the part of the screen that is not occupied by the one that we snapped to the other side and then resized. So it adjusts its size to fill this what would have been a gap here. If that feature is on. If we turn that feature off, that's the second feature here. If I turn that feature off, and I do the same thing. I've, I snapped this one to the right side and decreased its size without changing anything else. So if I snap another window to the other side, 
it just expands to fill half the screen and leaves this gap because I resized this one. I suggest that you leave that feature turned on. It's a nice feature. Now this one, when I snap a window, show me what I can snap next to it. Let's just get these off the screen and snap another uh, window. I'm going to show you this. Remember this feature says when I snap a window, show what I can snap next to it. So I'll snap a window. What it does, it blanks all the icons on the screen, it hides them all, and it displays thumbnails of all the windows that are open, including the windows that are open but minimized. So it shows you thumbnails of the other available open windows. If you click one of the thumbnails, that window expands to fill the rest of the screen. And that feature, again, you can turn on and off right here. When I snap a window, show what I can snap next to it. So if I turn it off, I'll do the same thing again. I'll snap a window to one side or the other. All that happened was it got resized to fill half the desktop. Those pop-ups did not appear. So that's this option here. There are some other options on this screen for virtual desktops, but we're not going to discuss virtual desktops uh, in this part of the video. Thanks for watching my video. Please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to see more of my videos.